7th of August, 1942, a large flight of SPD Dauntless and their escorts F4F Wildcats are returning back to the Saratoga after a successful bombing run on a group of Japanese task forces, including a light carrier and a battleship. And we are now going to proceed with further airstrikes for the remainder of the day. It is getting late, so hopefully we can get at least the carrier sunk by the end of the daylight. Hello, Ruth Fingen here, back with another episode of War on the Sea Tokyo Express mod. I have these B-17s flying fortresses on their way up here to uh, get some uh, contacts with the uh, Japanese task force I have separated my two C3s uh, from the carrier group and I'm sending them down to New Hebrides I think they are in a position now that they are relatively safe I'm going to launch another aircraft from the Philadelphia I'm going to put no armament on this guy because I don't think we need it I'm just going to send them up here to scout out around the uh, task force the battleship, uh, I mean, the carrier is going to be our primary goal here. Uh, then maybe the battleship, uh, if we have enough armament to uh, to do so. We have these TBF Avengers loaded with torpedoes coming in. 16 of them, but you know how those torpedoes are. 50% dud rate. We're, we'll be lucky if we get eight of those torpedoes on strikes and detonations. So... Let's uh let's see if we can get these planes engaged. I would like to get them at the same time. These flying fortresses still have about 200 miles of range, so I might be able to get both the Avengers and the uh, B-17s at the same time. Oh, this Kingfisher got an engagement. Darn you. Darn you. Is that going to draw in those B-17s? It might. Yes, it did. Okay, well, that's okay. We won't be able to wait on the... Uh... We're going to go ahead and dive down low with, with this Kingfisher. He's probably going to get shot down by these Zeros. The Flying Fortresses, on the other hand, are going to engage the enemy. Probably number one, right? Number one is the Carrier. Now, I, it, we struck the Carrier several times last time. And it shows that it has moderate and moderate, but I don't see any damage on the model. So I think that the, uh, and I can see the sub being tended here as well. <laughs> uh, I, can, I don't think the model has damage implemented <clears throat> on the textures. That's why you don't see the damage on the ship. But you do see they're listing just a little bit to, uh, to uh, starboard here. But anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and send all of the B-17s to attack the to get the carrier because they're not very accurate with their bombing but they are devastating if they do get hits and i i want to sink that carrier if we can so i'm gonna go ahead and send all the b-17s over to the carrier and hopefully kingfisher survives uh there's lots of zeros over there ho, 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 ho. we got your tr traditional zeros We've got yeah, they're all traditional zeros. None of the none of the roughs or roof or whatever you call them. I don't know. Looks like rough to me, but it could be roof. I no idea. There goes Kingfisher. She's down. Okay. All right. Here's the battleship. I think this is the Nagato. Let's see. I think I looked at it. Up, looked it up. Mm, battleship. It's not the Congo. Not the Fuso. I think it's the Nagato. That's what it looks like to me. Yeah, it's definitely the Nagato. Alright, I don't care about that. I care about this carrier, which is what? What is this carrier? Hold on. Ah, Chitosi. Chitosi class. Yes. Chitosi class light carrier. She, what's she doing? She's breaking. She's trying to get out of here. She's trying to get out of here. <laughs> okay. She's like, get me out of here, folks. Yeah. 
she almost got ran by that battleship, which would have been great. Looks like the uh, hospital ship's trying to get the heck out of Dodge as well, but not going to work out. The B-17s have a long flight to go, so let's let them catch up here. All right, so it looks like we're going to do a, a uh, just a straight run on her, which I'm not a big fan of with level bombing. I think we do a lot better with perpendicular, so I'm going to change their orders to fly up, and we're going to see if we can get a perpendicular strike on the Chitosi. I'm probably butchering that, I'm sure. My apologies. If those zeros come and try to mess with these B-17s, <laughs> we're going to get a sour medicine. Alright, we're almost ready to go ahead and get in a strike position here. Nice perpendicular run on the Chitosi. Ready? Attack. There you go. Other group. Attack. With their nice wide circle, they'll uh, they'll fly around and drop these bad boys right on top of her. I don't see those zeros, but I'm sure they're on their way. It'll take them a while to get here. We, we should be able to drop our bombs before they get here, but. We'll let them chase us off. I'm gonna see it. I'm gonna see how well these B-17s do against the zeros. If we can knock out several zeros, that would be great. At least slow down their their uh, cap abilities. All right, here we go. Yep, there's zeros right there. Contacts. Okay, here we go. Let's see how well we do. Nice perpendicular run. Bombs away. Bombs away on the Chitosi. Oh God, that's delicious. Yes. And another run coming. They're on fire. Oh, that's got a sinker. That's got a sinker. That's, that's got a sinker. You can see there's still no damage modeling on the ship. Oh, yeah, she sunk already. She's gone. Ho, 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 ho! You poor, poor little ship. Oh, uh, she gone. She gone. Alright, let's see if we can bank out of this... ...flak here. You don't, have, you don't have to fly over the flak continually, guys. I did lose one B-17 to flak. They just decided they want to keep flying over it for whatever reason. Fools. Nope, oh, he's hurt. Let's see if any zeros engage us. If they don't, we'll uh, we'll hop out of the battle. Well, at least we got the carrier sunk. Uh, we probably could have sent the second group to the battleship, but. Uh, I wanted to make sure we sank that carrier. All right, I don't, I don't see any zeros, so I guess they're not gonna attack us. I would have liked, kind of, to have been attacked by the zeros. To tell you the truth, in fact, I might circle around just a little bit and see if we can get some zeros attacking, because I would like to clear some of the area for those Avengers. And I think these uh, B-17s are just the boys to do it. All right, well, I'm not seeing any zeros, so I guess we'll go ahead and leave. I don't know where they're at. All right, we sunk the Chitosi. I only got two points for that. <laughs> you don't get very many points for sinking ships in uh, Tokyo Express mod. I think I will leave the B-17s here um, as I bring the Avengers up, because I will use them for combat air support uh support combat air support some uh air superiority here okay. bombers for air superiority that's right you heard me bombers for air support superiority if i can get there in time 
Because these guys are running low on fuel. Well, they got 152. All right. Okay. I don't see any zeros. They must they must have lost their zero uh, coverage. All right, let's go in here with the Avengers torpedoes. The first and last time I may use torpedoes. Oh, nice sunset run on the on the ships here. Holy cow, we are close. That's not cool. All right, let's get the B-17 circling. Actually, you know what? Let's send the B-17s over the enemy to draw the fire, hopefully. I know it's unfair to the B-17s to put their lives at risk, but... Um, the... Uh, where's the battleship? It's not number five. I'd like to take that this uh, number five out, but I, I really want to focus our fire on number four. So I'm going to send all our Avengers at number four. Because duds, folks. Duds. Duds are a thing. And we're likely to have a large, large amount of uh, casualties in this run. This one guy, he's gonna say he's gonna go after number five. I got one lone Avenger, he's going after number five. <laughs> so the B-17s are gonna fly around, draw a fire, while the TBF Avengers hopefully can circle down uh, unoffended and uh, take care of business. These guys are gonna just circle around, put their lives in danger. Not only are they more expendable because they come from New Hebrides, <clears throat> they are also more for much more formidable. They can they can stand to take a couple hits. Brave, brave crews of those B-17s drawing the fire while these Avengers make the run. I'll probably have to uh, modify their attack run because obviously they're going to come in straight on these guys. That's a terrible attack run for torpedoes. So I'll probably bring them up here and come in perpendicular. As soon as they get into attack pattern here. Yep, there they go. You guys come up here. 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 And you guys come I'll let him go ahead and do his attack run. Everybody else is going to go. Because he's going to turn, probably. Actually, you know what? I want you to come out here and then do your attack run. All right, here we go. Are we ready? Number four, get ready to attack. And turn and attack. 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 Oh, no, not yet. You're still way out there. Okay, hold on. Okay. You keep on them. Keep flying north. Okay. You ready? And do your attack run. You guys get ready. And do your attack run as soon as you get perpendicular. Now. Okay, here we go. All right, here we go. Lots of torpedoes in the water. Lots of fish in the water. Oh, hit! Oh, yeah. Nice. Duds. Duds galore. But lots of hits. Lots of hits and lots of duds. I want you to go ahead and run, do your attack run. All right. Lots of hits, lots of duds. We may get some collateral hits as well. As they, uh, oh my, he's got to sink. He's got to sink from this. That's a lot of hits. Look at her listing. Holy cow.
Alright, this, uh, this ship's turning, so that's gonna be a problem. Fish is in the water. Why don't you go ahead and get out of here? Right. Don't fly over their formation. Get out of there. I heard another torpedo hit, but I don't know who it hit. This one, I think, might miss. I don't know. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna... This one's gonna miss. He wasn't quite perpendicular. We might actually hit this torpedo... Uh, this uh, hospital ship. Nah, he's dodging. Alright. Well, that, that ought to... Uh, I only lost two B-17s, so that's not bad. Everybody's retreating? Okay. This ought to sink this uh, battleship, though. She's in terrible shape. Critical, critical. So she's gonna sink for sure. Oh my god. The carnage! How many hits did we even hit on that? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, six torpedo hits. And a few duds as well. <laughs> She's still firing too. Look at that. Man, you gotta hand it to their tenacity. Okay, let's uh let's get these B-17s out of here. They're are they're already bugging out. Alright, let's get these guys to bug out as well. Get out of there. Actually, you know what? Just get out right now. Bug out. Oh, somebody else got hit by a dud. <laughs> That's awesome. I want to see uh, if this guy will sink. Surely she will. She's on fire still and critical flooding and critical damage. She's got to sink. They're trying to do some counter flooding to bring her back a right. It might work. I don't know. Or they could be repairing those damaged sections of the hull. Though I would think they would be uh, permanent damage. But we'll see. Yeah, she, they got her down to heavy, heavy. Wow. DC crews saved the ship, man. They sure did. She's down to heavy, heavy. Wow. That's incredible. Well done to the Japanese damage crews. My gosh. That's fantastic. All right. So let's, um, let's go ahead and get, uh, this guy. I was going to send him kind of towards Santa Cruz. I'm going to kind of bring him out this way a little bit. Let's see if we can hold on him. It's almost night time, so I'm gonna see if I can engage this Jake. All right, well, I say Jake. It could be any float plane or any scout plane. All right, let's see if these wildcats can spot that scout plane. Flying fish is on the what on the surface. There they are. Okay, found them. All right, you guys. Attack. Does she have bombs? Yes, she does. Oh my god. Okay. Flying fish, I'll need you to dive then. Uh, deep. Dive. Hopefully, we shoot her down before they get close. She gets close to that sub. There you go. There we go. So, I wonder if there's another sub in the, in the area or if, uh, or if this came from one of the task force, the carrier task force. No. But I think we are ready to go. Splash. Okay. Awesome. Alright, so now it's going to be a uh, nightfall. No more air operations. So we should be able to... Uh, I'd like to get this Kingfisher up here to keep an eye on this guy. But I'm assuming that we'll lose sight of him here. They're probably going to bug out.
Bottling fish, I want you to go ahead and move on over here. Like so. I'm going to try to block off the uh, straits into Guadalcanal here with, with submarine activity. Now, someone did point out that I had failed to put out patrols from uh, New Guinea and uh, Australia. So I appreciate the reminder there that in TTE, they, they're a lot more likely to launch strikes over here. So come daybreak, I'm going to go ahead and send up some scout patterns from all of these ports uh, with our air support as well. Uh, I only have 10 points. Uh, I, they also pointed out that you can spawn C groups from uh, from these ports, which uh, I did not realize. I could go ahead and bring out one more submarine. So I could do that. Bring out a Gato. Um, I could bring out one of these uh, S-Class. Just test them out, you know. S4. There's a bunch of them. 906 tons. Maximum speed's only six knots underwater, 14 on the surface. Okay, test depth is only 200. Uh, there's a lot of them though. We've got uh, Mark 10 torpedoes. They may be better than the <laughs> Mark 14s. I don't know. Uh, 3,500 yards is their range though. Whew, that's close. Holy cow, that's close. No thanks. Uh, I'll use them if I have to. Yeah. Mark 14s are terrible, but at least they got a range of 8,900. All right. I'm going to go ahead and bring out the fin back. Oh, it's 11 points. I only got 10 points. I guess I could bring out a timbre. Well, I could bring out the S class. They're only 8 points. That'd be fewer points I have to. Yeah, we'll bring out a timbre. Timbre's got uh, the Mark 14s as well. Um, she's not a bad. She's not a bad sub. She's pretty similar to the gut to the Gato, really. Alright, so we'll bring the timbre out. I'm going to bring her up to these straights here just to kind of keep an eye on things. And we may end up taking her up uh, around Rabal to see if we can keep an eye on that that port there. But, uh, okay. Now for the night time. What the heck is this plane doing over here by Santa Cruz in the middle of the night? All right. Sure was quiet. It was a quiet night. All right, so I'm going to start sending up some scouts from all of these locations. And uh, I'll be right back. All right, so I got scouts going out from all of our locations. And hopefully I can uh, find some more bad guys to, uh, to smoke. That'd be nice. All right, enemy ships spotted near the drum. Ooh. Oh, another carrier group. Are you kidding me right now? Oh my god. A light carrier, one battleship, three merchants, two heavy cruisers, three destroyers. I believe that's the same composition as the other one. I might just uh, ignore and wait till they get a little closer here. And see if I can launch a, uh, an airstrike, with from, especially from New Hebrides with these B-17s. They can fly a long ways. Semi-armor-piercing bombs. How about that? Eight 500-pound. How about 12 500-pounders? Oh, my God. 440 nautical miles. Oh, not quite. Dang. Well, I'll go ahead and launch them. And then... Let's see what we'll see what happens. Okay. How far are we from here? That's a long ways. I may go ahead and bring these guys up here. <clears throat> I don't I don't think we'll be able to reach uh with any of these guys here. Catalinas with torpedoes or with armor piercing bombs. Oof. They can reach them, but they'll probably get shot down by enemy fighters. There's probably fighters all over. There's a level 1 and a level 1 there as well. And they'll have combat air support. Air patrols. Okay. Okay, here they come. Here they come. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. They're getting closer. Alright, here we go. Going into tactical. With the drum. Okay. Drum. Scope up. Oh, you are in a delicious position here. Turn. And turn your radar on, please. There you oh, are you kidding me? The Yamato has made an appearance. 
And another Chitosi class. I think is what it was called. Yep. No, not that one. Yeah, that's a Chitosi. Alright, so start building up your solution. There are the merchants. Okay, there's the Yamato. Okay. Yeah, and there's the cruisers, destroyers in the front, and their screen. Drum. Go ahead and saddle up. Okay. Go ahead and start slowing down. Okay. We are going to want a nice six torpedo spread. We're going to shoot right into the jaws of this Chitosi here as soon as we get a nice good solution why are you not building up a solution already did I not tell you to it's got a zero percent solution right now come on man Why are you not building up a solution? He's got radar on and a great view. Visibility is what? Broken. Oh, okay, 58%. Maybe that's why. A 0% solution right now? Come on, man. <clears throat> oh, it, it's just, it's a, it's a glitch. He's up to a 66% solution. Okay. That's, well, uh, that, why are you at number two? No, I want you on number one. What, what the heck? Okay. There we go. Now it's working. Weird. That was weird. All right. We'll accept it. All right. He's up to 76% solution. They're at 7,500 yards, which is about the maximum range. I mean, it's not the maximum range, but it's getting close to the maximum range of the uh, the torpedoes. 78% solution. I would love to get a better solution than that. 80%. I don't know. I'm thinking I might go ahead and fire at this point. 80% solution. 25% off the gyro there. Uh, I might increase the spread now. 2% is about as wide as I like to go unless I'm just throwing blind, firing blind. All right, I'm going to go ahead and fire them. All right. I want you to go ahead and start turning hard right. I want you to go uh, down scope. Run silent, dive. Okay. Hopefully, Chitosi gets a nice uh, surprise here. As soon as he gets uh, due north, we're gonna we're gonna run for it. Uh oh, I hope number three didn't intercept some of those torpedoes. I mean, it wouldn't be the worst thing since it is a cargo ship, but we're gonna miss. It's going to be a hard miss on Chitosi. Big miss. We might get number three, though. No? We missed number three. Chitosi might get a hit. Okay. Well, I might have spoke to... Nah, it's going to miss. Now nah, they're, they're going to hit. I have no idea what I'm talking about, apparently. Surprise, surprise, surprise. <laughs> One hit. Nice. Dud. Dud. One hit, two duds. Three misses. Okay. Well. Poo. Poo, 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 poo. That's not going to sink her. <laughs> Obviously. That one hit's not going to. What's the damage report? Moderate, moderate. Okay. I probably should slow down. 
Don't know where I'm at. Oh, they're all turned. They're all looking around. They don't know where I'm at. Hmm. I wonder. Yeah, they're not making her run at all. Hold on. I wonder if I could get back up to scope depth and fire another shot into them while they're all askew here. I've got my aft torpedoes. Four of them are ready. It's a 48%. Let's go ahead and turn so we have a, less of a gyro effect. This is really risky. <laughs> Really risky. They, but they have no idea where I'm at, so... I like it. Uh-oh. This guy does. He's he's coming. Hold on. We may have to make a run for it. After all. Hold on. Yeah, he's, he's coming right for us. No, are we going to have time to fire another shot off? I would think so, but the solution is building really slowly. Yeah, like super slow. Why? I don't know. Number nine is getting too close for comfort. Let's get out of here. Okay. Well, we got minor damage, minor flooding. One torpedo strike. That's not bad, you know? All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and have him alter his course to come down here and hopefully do a little bit of an intercept, maybe. We could go ahead and launch a strike force from Saratoga with the Dauntlesses. They should be able to make it there. 347 miles. Oh, just not. Just under. Dang. It's not going to be worth it if they can't take escorts as well. But the fact that they can't even get there. Okay, well that was a waste. For three hours. Okay. You got to wait until she gets further north. Okay. Uh oh. Catalina was engaged. Of course they were. Uh oh, did we find the ships? No, oh, it's the drum. Oh yeah, the, the drum did see the ships. They're down by Guadalcanal now. Catalinas, do you have armament? Yes, you do. I want you to make a run for these ships down here. See if you can get there before the enemy. Um, I need a nice big target like these carrier here. All right, go ahead and attack that target. You attack as well. And then uh, drum. I would go ahead and uh, start building a solution on these guys, but man, they're far away. That's really far <laughs> for the drum. Okay. Really far. It'd take forever to get down there. Uh oh. I don't think these Catalinas are going to get there either. Here's the Zeros. Are the Ruffs? Roofs? I don't know. Float plane, float, pl float plane Zeros? <laughs> C Zeros. What did you call C Zero? Look at Johnny back there in the back. Johnny and Bobby. With their open air turrets. You got a tail gunner here. Oh boy. Here they come. More zeros. <laughs> Coming to engage. 45,000 yards for the drum. Eh. Go ahead and dive, drum. 
not worth it for you. All right, here we go. The Catalinas are engaging. Not doing a very good job of attacking this guy here. Speed up. Fly as fast as you can. You're not going to outrun that zero, but... There you go. See if you can dodge him at least. There you go. Fire at him. Fire at him. What's he doing? Oh, he's shooting at her buddy. And buddy's down. Buddy's down. Bye, buddy. Bye, buddy. Come on, Catalina. Make a run for it. Got another one coming up on our six. Make it worth it. He's doomed. Hit the deck, Catalina. There's two of them coming up on us. I see the ships. Geez, they are far. They are far. Come on. Get there. I mean, if the zeros don't get him, that flak will. It's a huge target. <laughs> and we are low. No. Uh -oh. Got a beat on us. Waggle. Waggle. No! Johnny! Bobby! No! Well, that's going to be about it for this episode. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you did, be sure and hit that like button, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!